Hello, this is Cheryl Arias Wicker with Christian Movie Connect, and we are here with Stephen Camp of the new movie Brothers Keeper. Thank you so much for being with us, Stephen. Thank you for coming. Appreciate uh, it. Okay. Well, I'm really excited to hear about this project, and um, just tell us a little bit about what the story is about. Sure. Uh, Brothers Keeper is a 1950s uh, period piece about two identical twin brothers who, though they are identical physically, they are polar opposite spiritually. Uh, Pete is, it's Pete and Andy are the identical twin brothers. Pete is a very good boy and all he wants to do in 1957 is graduate from high school and go to the seminary and become a preacher. Andy, his, his twin brother, is more of the black leather jacket. Uh, he's a smoker, he's a drinker. Um, Andy is angry with God and angry with humanity humanity because of something that happened to them when they were very young in our story. And uh, ironically, the story takes a complete metamorphosis in which uh, Pete gets convicted of a murder that he didn't commit. He gets framed and ends up on death row for this murder. Andy, on the outside, comes to visit Pete in prison and says, Pete, I've decided that I want to become a preacher. Things aren't working for me the way they've been going so far. And Andy, Pete looks at Andy and says, Andy, are you sure that's a good idea? You don't own a Bible, you're not religious, and you don't like to study. But sure enough, Andy does, and it kind of becomes a reversal in which Pete, who's always been so stoic and so faithful, kind of starts to lose his faith a little bit and struggles a little bit, while Andy uh, goes on this wonderful spiritual journey. And the story itself is uh, these bad people that did this to these boys. Um, it's a struggle for revenge or for forgiveness, and that's the message of our film. And, and that's really a very important message. Uh, I heard a sermon just this past Sunday about how, you know, the root of so many uh, problems that people have is unforgiveness. Absolutely. We, uh, we've done a lot of research on forgiveness, and we have found uh, in our research that three out of four people we surveyed believe that, that they have had a harm done to them that they will never be able to forgive that person for. Four out of five people that we surveyed believe that, someone, that they have harmed someone in a manner that they'll never be forgiven for. So forgiveness is a, a very universal struggle. We live in a, in a world of the walking wounded when it comes of forgiveness. That's right. So where did the story come from? That's a great question. We, uh, in April of 2009, uh, my partners, TJ Amato and Joshua Mills, who directed Brothers Keeper, I raised the money and they made the movie, worked out perfect. Uh, we acquired the rights to a short story called The Gift and the Giver. And as soon as we read The Gift and the Giver, we knew that this was a story that we had to share with the world. And after, after one year of development, we were ready to go in April of 2010. So, so tell me what the plans are for the movie. Sure. We are releasing on 800 screens uh, this fall. We have not pinpointed a date yet, but we'll be re announcing that very soon. Uh, we are uh, planning on releasing, of course, uh, nationwide. And uh, we are very, very excited for... Um, we have launched a forgiveness initiative to coincide with our film uh, called Time to Let Go. Anyone that wanted to visit our initiative can go to timetoletgo.com. And we're doing some very exciting things as it relates to the forgiveness initiative, of course, supporting our film. And we believe that our, our forgiveness initiative will long, long outlive our film. So do you have some partnerships with that? I can see some fantastic partnerships and alliances you could make. We absolutely have. We are, uh, uh, there are so many I couldn't even begin to list them here, but we are, uh, we're working very closely with Dan Merrill. Dan Merrill is the captain of uh, Propeller Marketing and Consulting. Uh, Dan Merrill, t Time to Let Go is his dream child, uh, kind of his baby, and uh, he is going to put not only about four million of the eight million that we're allocating into the P&A for the film, Four million of that is actually going to go into Time to Let Go. So we're going we're gonna to throw some resources at it and uh, hope that it becomes a Christian resource that will, that will last for decades. Okay. Who are some of the, uh, the actors that you have in this? We were very, very blessed. Uh, as I was down raising the money uh, in uh, the summer of 2010, we were very, very fortunate that uh, my original goal was to spend three days in meetings and raise 120000 I intended to take that 120000 and have our production crew shoot a trailer. 
and then I could engage with an investment bank or a hedge fund, normal channels. Uh, very fortunately, I remained on location for seven months and raised just over $5 million. As the funding started to come in and we saw the success of the raise, we were able to reach out to some pretty good talent. Uh, we locked in Travis Tritt, who is a very, very good Christian man, uh, wonderful, wonderful guy to have on our set, true professional you know, in, in the industry. We also brought in Alex and, and Graham Miller to play our twins. Our twins in our movie were actual identical twins. Yes, we brought in uh, Michael Rooker, Daniel Simonis, W. Earl Brown, uh, uh, Ray Weiss, Robin Lively. We were very, we've been very blessed. Okay, well, very good. And uh, so what is your background in film yourself, and, and what are your plans for the future? Sure. Ironically, uh, I have no background in film. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Wall Street guy. I worked in Chicago and in New York in the markets for 20-plus years, two decades, and I met Joshua Mills uh, on, a, on a completely unrelated business deal in L.A. back in 2008, and uh, Josh and I became fast friends. I saw what a great guy he was, and Josh uh, offered me a position in which I would leave New York and come to LA to become his chief financial officer. Uh, never dreamt that that would be a move that I would make, but as the Lord has it, uh, we, uh, there were plans for me in the works that I wasn't even aware of. Wow. Well, I, I can see that God has really used your business background to, to further this movie, and, and that's, that's fantastic. So we just wish you the best. Thank you so much for sharing with us. God bless. Thank you so okay. much.